Would you look at this place? Wow, it's dry, deserted. It's a wasteland. I think I'm gonna have to do something about this. Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to the Planet Crafter. Uh, some of you might have seen this game already. It's a, basically it's a survival, building survival game where we're, we're essentially terraforming this planet. We're taking this dry, deserted wasteland and we're turning it into a lush green paradise, I guess, with vegetation and water and from what I've seen, wildlife too. So it's going to be quite interesting. And basically what we're doing is we're going to, as you see on the top right there, there's a terraformation index, and that's just basically... The level of ter terraformation and the, the system of oxygen level. Got to get back inside here. Uh, yeah, but basically uh, we're doing different things like adjusting or um, increasing like oxygen levels, pressure, heat, all that stuff to terraform this place. So anyway, so let's go ahead and check the mail, see what it says. Uh, welcome to your assigned planet. Your mission is to advance the terraformation progress of this world process. Sorry. Uh, generate O2, heat, and pressure to do so. Yeah basically what it said. Uh, first reach 175,000 terraformation index and create a blue atmosphere. So that is what we're going to do. Now we do have, uh, like I said, crafting. We get to, uh, basic crafting here. Uh, we also do have to do exploring to find the microchips. Uh, we got some stuff in here. We got food, water, oxygen. We do have vitals we have to keep an eye on. Now uh, we can grow stuff down the, down the road and uh, seeds, which we'll get into eventually. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all this stuff and we're going to go gather up some resources. Uh, so what I need to do is need to craft a backpack and an oxygen station. Or oxygen tank. I'm sorry. As you can tell I'm out of touch. So anyways, we go in here we're going to craft. We can uh, make a backpack tier, tier 1 with iron. And then we need cobalt and iron and magnesium for the tank. So let us go. Um, as you can see, there is uh, resources scattered all over the area. There's different things like we got iron here. Go ahead and use that. We have ice that we can get. Magnesium. Uh, can't remember what I needed, so I'm gonna go around and gather up some stuff. We got the cobalt. Uh, there's a interesting uh, uh, or redistribution respawn mechanic that we will see eventually. As far as I know, it doesn't cause any. Uh, cause any player damage that I've seen or structural damage. I have played the prologue to a certain point uh, There wasn't as much as there's in the game now and uh, I did have to check and see what other things there was and there's actually Quite a bit of stuff we can do. So we go ahead and craft that and then we go ahead and craft that And then I equip that gives me another row of slots gives me that give me more oxygen and now we go on to Because uh, my construction microchips. I apologize. Uh, give me one second here. Sorry about that. That's what happens when you don't record for four months. Anyways, uh, so let's go ahead and craft a microchip, construction microchip. I need one more silicone and two more magnesium. All right, uh, let's go. Uh, so silicone, uh, silicone right here. And grab some magnesium. That is this stuff here. Or grab some extra stuff while we're at it. Uh, as you can see, there is a lot of exploration we can do. Apparently, there's a lot of different biomes on different planets. don't know if there's other planets that we can go to, but uh, I know there is definitely an astron astronaut or even subnautica level of exploration, so that's always handy. Grab some iron. Need one more silicone. No, oh, there's one right there. Silicon, silicone, I have no idea. We get silicon just because there's no E. Alright, so go ahead and make that. And then we put that in here, and that actually allows us to craft things. So as you can see, there's different uh, energy levels, blueprints. Uh, uh, that's basically progress. Uh, that that the tech tree progression goes by uh, the overall terraformation level of the planet. Anyways, uh, as you can see, we got to go ahead and craft the living compartment now. Uh, I need more iron and titanium. Uh, let me get get up a few things, and I'll be right back. While I'm here, we do run across these uh, loot boxes that you find in similar games like um, Astroneer and Subnautica. Yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and take what I can. We can grow food. Uh, I don't have that yet, so we're eating space food for the time being. Grab the silicone, the iron, 
uh, cobalt I don't need. So where am I going to set up a base here? I actually set it up there last time. Uh, hmm. Actually, there's a spot right over here. I could probably do it. Uh, as soon as I get back, actually. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to get back up like a used tank, but I waste it. Alright, uh, what I am going to do is I'm going to show sort of like a... I was watching another YouTuber's play this and someone actually pointed out a bit of an exploit where you could have infinite oxygen as long as you have enough to build yourself a living compartment with a door. Alright, uh, let's see here. Let's just do it over here. Why not? We're going to need room for windmills and stuff like that. Uh, right here sounds good. I can go different levels too, and it's uh, sort of, you know, free building style, so do that. I gotta put a door on it so we can actually get in. Oh, uh, one more titanium. Uh, titanium. If I was titanium, where would I be? Bang, right there. See, I know my, my, I know my ore as well. Okay, now we go back. Uh, one, uh, we're gonna build a, a turbine after this to ge start generating power. Now, uh, the thing about the uh, power grid is you can place a turbine or solar panel or any type of power generation anywhere, and it powers any shelter or machines you have anywhere on the planet. It's sort of like a global power grid. So, we go in here, we have power. Alright, and then the next thing we gotta do is build a drill. Drill, I need titanium for. The drill is, uh, as you can see, uh, generates pressure by releasing gases trapped in the ground. So it drills to the ground, releases gas on the ground, and sort of raises greenhouse gases, I guess. What did I need? I need titanium. Always titanium. You have to find a chunk over here. Oh, there's one right there. Okay, and then we can go ahead and put the drills somewhere out of the way because we are going to take up a lot of space uh, they sort of conform to the ground too so I can have it up on the wall if I really wanted to so I'll place that there before I run, uh, head back before I run out of oxygen uh, I do gotta gather up some ice and make some water eventually there's ice right here, I might as well grab that like so and then I gotta build a crafting terminal in here uh, let's see, crafting screen, blueprints. Uh, what I'm going to do actually is uh, let me gather up a few things to expand. Let's get a little more room and then we'll start building some stuff. Well, that was weird. It was dark and sort of quiet, and then all of a sudden it started getting kind of stormy out. Uh, as you know, the terraformation index is going up because we were actually doing progress. Uh, let's put our screens over here. Uh, there's a couple of different ones. We've got the big one right here. I'm going to put that one right there, and that shows you our progress. So as you can see, there's oxygen oxygen generation, there's heat, and then there is also pressure. And we're building up pressure by drilling to the ground. Heat is generated by creating heaters, and oxygen by growing plants. Uh, there is also these small screens, but I want to put these on a desk, because I actually need a desk. All right, because uh, if not, they're going to sit on the floor. So I'm going to go grab some more iron, so let me be right back. Okay, I'm back. And what do you know, as soon as I stopped recording, the storm went away. So let's go ahead and place a desk down. Alright, uh, let's see here. Let's put it... Let's see if we can put it right here. You can have all the... Uh, the information displays in one spot. Okay, and then we can put the blueprint screen here. I guess. Okay, and... Oh, no, not that one. Energy levels. Because we generate power, we use power too. Timing isn't it great. So that means I have to go build another wind turbine. Go out here. And we'll set up another wind turbine just right there. And power it back on. If only it was that easy, huh? Okay, so then we go in here. We can uh, show our energy levels. It shows us what's be what power is being used and our generation. Right now I'm generating 2.4 kilowatts and using 1.5. Uh, some machines get very, very expensive, so we'll probably have to get into solar panel, and eventually there's going to be fusion, which I'm not at yet, but that's where this comes in. So this is our progress tree, or tech tree. Uh, terraform or overall terraformation index unlocks things like backpacks and furniture and then...
get down into like uh, seed spreading rockets and stuff like that. Oh, well, there you go. I just unlocked a new backpack or oxygen tank. But yeah, so there's that one and oxygen unlocks heaters and stuff like that. So as you can see, there's a lot of things we can actually unlock and a lot of things you can find and explore and all that stuff. So that was the oxygen tank because I'm under pressure. Yes. So it's unlocked automatically, so that means I can go ahead and craft it, but I need a, a crafting station, which means more iron and silicone. So uh, let me fill my inventory, and I'll be right back. Now oh, yeah, here's a little thing about the drill. You can actually hear it drilling into the ground. There's some big drills, too. Wait till we get those ones going. Okay, I'm back. I actually found a little chest behind me, so I went ahead and filled, used that. Uh, or grabbed that, I should say, and got myself some goodies. So let's go ahead and build a crafting station. Put that right in here, and then in here. Oops, uh, wrong button. Go in here, I'm gonna build, uh, was it not in here? Um, hmm. Oh yeah, it was an oxygen tank I found. Uh, magnesium. All right, uh, I'm gonna find some magnesium. I think there was some right here what do you know uh, apparently there's going to be some sort of ore extraction so this stuff can be mined automatically from the ground possibly i don't know uh we haven't seen the the respawn of these yet but we will shortly oh no i gotta take my uh oxygen tank off all right and that's going to increase my oxygen level by a significant, so it's 200. Um, I've seen there's up to tier 4 now, and then uh, there's that. And then also go to here to decode the blueprint microchip that I got. Agility boots, and that just basically improves, improves walking speed. Aluminum and fabric. Uh, fabric, I don't think I can craft yet. Uh, I think I need... Uh, We'll have to unlock another machine for that. Uh, but I think it might be time to go explore and we'll head up to that ship there. Let me figure out what I'm doing here. Uh, yeah, let me get my barons and we'll go head out. Okay, I think I'm ready to go. I w went ahead and crafted, uh, crafted some oxygen capsules. Uh, we used to go all for that. Crafted up some water and I do have some food on me and we'll find some food along the way. Uh, what I will do too, actually, I was thinking about this. I'm going to grab one more titanium and one more silicone along the way and see if I can build a little mini habitat out there so we can go run in there and grab some oxygen every now and then. Uh, but up there we got to get uh, iridium for the, the heater. Uh, what was I looking for? I was looking for titanium and silicone. Uh, let's see, titanium and silicone. Where are you? Right here. Uh, there's also a ca these caves that uh, sort of unlock when you reach a certain uh, terraformation level of certain things. I don't know if it's all the same, but the one up here is, I believe, temperature. So when the planet gets to a certain temperature, the, the ice melts and you can mine the resources that are in there. Uh, I don't know how big the planet is, but I know, do know there's lots of areas to explore. Did I go the wrong way? No, I didn't. I could have gone out the other way, but there's a lot of hopping and jumping I gotta do to get there. Uh, but as you see, here it is. It's awfully big, too. Um, one of the things they did at, they didn't have in the prologue, but apparently is in this one. I haven't tried it yet because I haven't gone that far. Uh, was there's a, it is apparently a jetpack. So that's gonna be interesting to see how that one works. Alright, uh, what I might do is, because I have everything, let's go ahead and make our little, uh, Little hideaway here. Come on, where are you? We're gonna sit right there. Okay, we'll throw a door on there and fill up on oxygen. Okay, and this is the cave I was talking about here. Um, I can't remember which one was in here. This was. Oh, that's a uh, super alloy. Starts melting at 100 uh, nano Kelvin, I guess. Uh, something to do with the, the actual temperature of the planet. Okay, so here we go. Uh, I don't have a light. Ooh. Ooh. Hmm. Oh, I guess we're gonna see what we can find here, because it's gonna get pretty dark. But basically go in here and explore, and I can't do nothing. So I'm gonna head back and build a crafting chip, or a light chip if I have it. 
and I'll be right back. Okay, I am back. Uh, so yeah, the, uh, the torch microchip is two silicon magnesium, uh, one silicon two magnesium. I go ahead and do that. Uh, the backpack upgrade will give us more slots for this eventually when we get there. Uh, so now I have a light. Let us go. Let's see what we can find. Uh, there's a lot of stuff we can disassemble, take apart, salvage, that kind of stuff. Uh, apparently these things are really big too, so it's quite easy to get lost. But we go in here, so there's the fabric, uh, super alloy. Uh, seeds, we'll need that, and we'll be able to get them all. Uh, I can deconstruct this too, but I need to have a deconstruct chip in my tool to do that. Alright, uh, yeah, so I can't do that, but can I... Oh, I can't even deconstruct that. That's right. Hmm. Uh, I don't have the room for it either. I can't do much in here. Uh, let's see here. What do I need for the backpack? Because I'm going to have to get a bigger slot, I think. Or, I think I just always pull the other one out. Let's have a look and see what I need for it. Uh, deconstruct silicon and magnesium. Okay, hang on. Okay, I got it. So what I'll have to do is I'll take the construction chip out, put the deconstruction chip in. Uh, have some water while I'm here. Uh, don't really need to worry about anything else. If I need to make some inventory space, I will eat. I uh, should make those agility boots too, but I gotta get a bigger backpack, and I think I have to uh, create the, the veggie tube and the heater so we can start building up other pressures too. Okay, there's nothing in there. Let's go grab this heater. So then, um, if I use a mouse wheel, I can actually scroll between the different functions of the things. So I disassemble that, and I should get some iron. I can take this apart, and then I get iridium, which allows me to make a heater. So we have that, so I have a full inventory, so there's not much else I can do here. Uh, let's see what I need for... Um, oh, yeah. I don't even have the inventory space for this. I have to eat, okay. I take this out, put that back in, see what I need for a veggie tube. Ice and magnesium. Alright, uh, I don't think there's much else I'd be able to do in here. Just because I don't have inventory. It's in here. Pick that too, I guess. No idea what it's going to be for. We'll find out. And we'll come back here later. So I'll meet you back at the base. Oh yeah, and by the way, when I built the crafter inside the little mini shelter here, I lost power. That's why I had to build another windmill up here. <laughs> okay, I'm back. I also found another, blue, uh, another chip along the way. So let's see what we find. Uh... I just unlocked something. I don't even see what I got in the second one here. Uh, compass and living compartment. Oh, I guess we didn't have the window. We got foundations now. We got an outside light, which all uses power. So, yeah, good times. Uh, that is that. Let's see where we're at. Oh, yeah, because we passed 250. So that got me. What did that get? We're going to get the backpack tier 2 pretty quick. Might have to wait for that. So, yeah, so we got the window there. Uh, so what we can do now while we're waiting for that is we go ahead and start building like the heaters and stuff. Uh, the heaters have to be built inside. You can't place them outside, I don't think. No. You gotta place them inside, and I don't know why. Uh, we'll just put it here for now. I'm thinking about building like a larger... Ooh, that's got a nice hum to it. Almost feels like I'm being irradiated by it. Alright, uh, they also use, as you can see, a lot of power, so I have to keep an eye on that. Let's actually see where I'm at. Uh... Time for another windmill, I think, before we get that veggie tube built. Uh, I might need more iron. Do I have any more? I don't think I do. No, I don't. All right, let's go grab a couple of pieces of iron. We'll throw a few more windmills. And yes, there is a day-night cycle, a very nice one. Uh, iron, if I was iron, I'd be mined out of the ground because I probably would have taken it already. Titanium, titanium. See, we got me over here. Oh, that's right. I have a light bit iron. Take that one and uh, grab one more. Because we're going to need it. Okay. Uh, don't know where I'm going to go with the base yet. So I'll put the windmills here. I can always deconstruct them and move them later so it's not that big of a deal. One there, and we'll just uh, do that for now. And back inside. Wow, you can actually hear that thing outside. Okay, turn that off. And what was I doing? I was 
I'm gonna build a veggie tube. I need iron, magnesium, and ice. Done. All right, so let's place the veggie tube down. And then the, the, what this one does is this generates oxygen. We grow plants in there, and then of course you take the the CO2 and or not CO2 and turn it into oxygen. So I can place anything in there. I do believe it will generate oxygen, but there's other special ones we can get. I don't have any of them yet, so let's just go ahead and place that in there. So as you can see, it's slowly producing 0.15 parts per quadrillion, I believe. Uh, I'm not too sure, but we can find out in well up there. We can see how much we're producing of both and. That, and that all combines up into the number at the top. Also, I got the backpack while I was doing that. So let's go ahead and build a tier 2. What's this? Mining speed. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot about that. Alright, so I need iron, silicone, and titanium. Let me grab that. Okay, I got that. Now, before I do that, what I want to do is I want to... Stuff in here, because I believe when I take this backpack off, I'm gonna, everything's going to drop on the ground. Because I have to use this backpack to upgrade. Then we go in here, we go to tier 2 backpack, and then I go and put that on, and I thought it gave me more slots. Uh, what do I need for that? The exoskeleton. Well, that's what I'm doing. Okay, so I think we have to take that out, put that one in there, and that gives me seven more, or f I guess technically three more slots because that takes up another slot of its own. So we can put that in there, we can put that in there. And then we can put other things in there like the agility boots, which uh, we need aluminum for. And I think we'll look at that in the next episode. Uh, look at the time here. So I do have to take care of some water. Let's go um, over here. We we'll take care of this. Take those out and take that and that. And I think what we'll do is we'll call this one here. And then uh, next episode, we'll start working on a terraformation index, start upgrading some more stuff. And then maybe if you go explore that wreckage a little more. But, anyways, I thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave me a like. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Later.